Hello everybody. So, if you couldn't tell from last episode, I, I may or may not have may or may not have died just 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 a little bit. Just a little bit. I, I was able to get my stuff back, uh, so that's that's no problem. However, I, I think this armor is lacking a little bit. Cause I died pretty fast. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to roll all of these uh, unidentified armor and idols and stuff like that and see what I get. Oh no, the sounds. Oh, they're all so loud. Mm, I like the look of it, but it's not, it's not the best. Ooh, 3% parry. Could be good. Another reach. Okay. Okay, that two health might be good, but eh. Wow, I got nothing good from that. Okay. Six armor? Ooh, that could be good. Weakening cloud, that could also be good. I really need to sort all of my chests. Slaughter pairs, but only one level. Yeah, no, these are, these are trash. The only good thing I got from that was this chest plate. But it only has one armor, and that's it. So even that's iffy. Oh, so, um... This is almost full. That's how much energy this thing outputs. And yes, I had to have two droppers just to keep up with it, with the amount of output of substrate. So, so I like how I'm able to keep up with the amount of uh, melons being used. That is still at 32,000. So that's fun. Oh, that's still at 32,000 as well. Okay. Oh, hey, I have plenty of lithium now. That's, that's, just, uh, that's just a lot. I need some more crystals to run some more vaults. Because, um, I think my next big unlock is gonna be Mechanism QIO. Oh, dang. That requires six knowledge stars. Well, seven cakes. All right. Thank you for your business, sir. Yeah, your cakes are delicious. The vault altar just loves them. This is why Mechanism is great. Because I can just come over here to my basic smelting factory that has max speed upgrades and smell anything I need. And I don't have to wait three days to smell 101 things. I can just wait like two seconds. And I need 705 string. I have 666 string. I'm gonna need more string. That's gonna be a pain. Luckily I have all the magma blocks I need because uh, because I was gonna build a gold farm that needed all these magma blocks and then I found Ianetso Forge design and realized I didn't need all these magma blocks. In fact, I didn't really need any at all. Still need 36. String. Huh. Is there a spider spawner somewhere here? Oh look, a spider spawner. We'll just teleport to it. Hi. Is this throwable? It is. Hi, bye. I wish Vault Spiders were like, 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 dang. Vault Spiders can two-tap you, but you have to hit them like 40 times. Hi. Oh, yay. 917 Acacia Logs. Now I go chop down an entire forest. Oh, look, you can still see the, the remnants of leaves from where I was here last time. This is the perfect last uses of a strong vault magnet. Definitely not wasting it. I don't know what you're talking about. I would never. I guess when we finish deforestation, uh, I'll just plant new trees. Because it's kind of hard to get acacia logs when there's no acacia trees. Hey guys. That's some, uh, some nice houses you got there. I don't know why, but I legit saw the donkey and thought it was a creeper. Perfect. 156 leather. Please, please tell me I have that much. Mob drops. 116. Hi. Hi. How you do? Hey. Oh, okay. Ten, three. Oh, look. Melon. I think I have plenty of those. Me a melons? No, no, I would never. I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely don't have twenty thousand melons because I have thirty-two thousand melons. Get it right. Oh look, snow. Hi.
And let's do another one. Oh look, sugar cane. I think I got plenty. So I think my goal for this video is I'm going to run a few vaults. And by a few, I mean as many as I need to get enough vault diamonds to unlock QIO. Because QIO would be great for storage. Because right now, my storage is a complete mess. So, so right now, QIO requires six knowledge points. Huh, pretty much everything in here. Hold the phone. I could literally go apply energistics for one knowledge point. Hold on, for one knowledge star, I could go Applied Energistics. Do you know how powerful that mod is? So forget Mechanism QIO. I have no Vault Diamonds. So I'm gonna run, I'm gonna have to run a few Vaults. But I'm gonna get Applied Energistics and I'm gonna unlock it. Because Applied Energistics is great. I've used it before. So um, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So, so I ran a couple Vaults. And unfortunately, I didn't get them on camera because I didn't expect to get what I needed in like three vaults. However, I got the loot from them. So, so um, I'm I'm just gonna just gonna show you that. This is from everything else, but um, this was the very last vault. But based on based on all of this, I'll give you three guesses on what I got. Guys, I got 22 Vault Diamonds. This is great. It is time for us to unlock Applied Energistics. Let's do this. Alright, let's uh, unlock it. That's not it. Okay. Applied Energistics. Research. It's official. Applied Energistics is unlocked. This is going to be great. Yeah, all of this storage is pretty well full. Because everything has at least something in it. So, um, th there's a reason why I wanted to go for Applied Energistics next. First thing we're going to need is a ME controller. Which requires Sky Stone and Flux Crystal. And an engineering processor. However, I don't have any Sky Stone. So... I should have brought a magnet. You know what? This horse has a pretty effective magnet. I think that's enough sky stone. 284 or 288. That should be good. Oh look, a pool of water. Perfect. And I can make one of these. And we have a ME controller. So now I need an ME drive. And now I can make you. Right now it's currently empty, so I have to make more things, and by more things, I mean I have to make storage cells. Unfortunately I can't make a creative storage cell, that'd be great though. Well I guess it's time to make an inscriber. Hi. So, it's been a couple days since I uh, recorded the last clip, and um, I've been grinding just a little bit. So you already know that I unlocked Applied Energistics. But I also unlocked storage drawers. That way I don't have to spend like all of my resources and like run 50 vaults to get enough stuff to make more applied energistics hard drives. Because those cost a lot. And I don't want to deal with that. So, you know the chest monster that I had. Well, I no longer have a chest monster. As you can see, all of this is uh, gone. And you know the, all the chests that I had, well, they're gone too. This is my setup. This is my new storage setup, it's amazing. Oh, I went ahead and moved my uh, mechanism stuff over here. And just piped uh, a, a couple a couple wires. Just a few. But yeah, this is my setup now. I have uh, three ME drive bays. This is the only one that has 264. Uh, K ME storage. Everything else has 16 K ME storage, and they're all full. But luckily, as you can see, they're not all full of storage. 
Uh, then I got my drawer controller right there, that way I can still access it. And I have all of my ores, all of the ingots, and everything. Over here. And then over here, I have all of my uh, vault ores and vault gems. That way they're easily accessible and I can see what I have. I still have open space here so that I can put some things that are like taking up a lot of storage. But I haven't decided what to put here yet, so we'll just, we'll just decide that when the time comes. And I got a dank dock with a uh, ME import bus. So I can just stick my uh, dank in the dock and it'll automatically pull everything from it and sort it. It's amazing. It's really nice. To be able to just like go in here, search for what I want, say I want a bow. I have broken bows here, but then I could just like easily craft one and bam. So, yeah, this is great. And uh, back here, I have a Emmy wireless access point with 64 wireless boosters in it give me a range of 528 blocks now you may be thinking 528 blocks is a long ways away and you're correct it is in fact it's long enough away that the chunks aren't loaded so I can't actually access it from that far away so yeah I need to make like a chunk loader or something for that anyway so I can just like go over here and with this uh, wireless terminal, I can be all the way over here and still access my stuff. It's great. I can put stuff in, take stuff out, and have access to everything I have. Of course, it doesn't work in the vault, and I have yet to try it cross-dimensionally, but I don't think it works cross-dimensionally. But it's great either way. And, and so I, I uh, oh yeah, I got another uh, Omega statue. So that's nice. So because the Omega statues are permanent fixtures, I see no point in leaving them in a chest and then me having to manually move the stuff. So uh, I added some more drawers. With some upgrades, of course. And so all of them are going to be in here. And if I get more, then I'll just expand this outwards. Because I can. And uh, because of the drawer controller, and it's 12 block... Um, distance they are they are connected to my storage so I'm thinking I can, have, I can somehow set it up to where these are also connected to my storage to where they're automatically input as well I just need to like look and see what all I get from grift from gifter statues that way I don't just like take up all of my storage and just put it in uh, storage drawers instead but that, that time will come a little bit later I might make something like under my base for them that way they're not taking up space but I don't know yet we'll see and I went ahead and moved my stuff over here because I can and plus they're it's like right here next to the health potions so it ain't like I can easily forget but yeah that's a this was a this has been a huge change because uh, instead of like searching through all of the chests to find what I want and having to keep it organized and having to like make sure I don't run out of storage because I was already running out of storage it's so like all of these chests were full, all of these chests were getting full, and all of these were full. So I was running out of storage very quickly. But now I should be good, because I still have like one empty bay with tons of storage in it. So we should be good there. Uh, all these compact ones are really nice actually. Because they show up in uh they show up in the ME terminal as like everything. And then if like say you take a stack. See, this is at 595. So add the stat back, it's at 606. So it like automatically shows it, even in the ME storage terminal. But yeah, this is a uh, really nice storage. Um, may have to expand the drawers to be able to hold more stuff instead of filling up the ME drive bays. But that, that should be fine. Because I can go down very easily and up extremely easily. So, we shall see. I didn't really change much over here, I just kind of made it look cleaner. I've still got plenty of in, plenty of energy storage, um, and by that I mean I'm not running out anytime soon. Yeah, th they're full. All the ones that aren't moving are completely full. 
I think I have plenty of backlog if something breaks. I think my next big thing. I kind of want creative flight. And RF tools utility only costs one right now. RF tools base cost one and it doesn't raise this price. So if I do RF tools base and RF tools utility, I could get creative flight around my base. So uh, yeah. I think that's going to be all for this video. Um, I spent like multiple days on this. Oh look a creeper. Hi. But yeah, Applied Energistics is unlocked and I have a, an amazing storage system now. I guess that'll be all for this video. If you liked it, you know what you do. And uh, be expecting another one in the upcoming weeks. See y'all.